Hello, this is James. I bet y'all didn't know something about Tiger Dragon. Tiger Dragon is sick to death of the furries. He can't stand those little cats. The big ones, the small ones. They're stealing his thunder and he wants to be known as the big cat of Duel Links. So we got together all of his dragon buddies, the little ones and the big ones, put together this deck, put the beat down on the furries. So this deck, super fun, is is a lot of the a lot of cards that are underappreciated. So first we have Tiger Dragon. When this card is tribute summoned by tributing a dragon type monster, you can target up to two face down spell traps your opponent controls. Destroy those targets. So coupled with Escalation of the Monarchs, you can set Escalation of the Monarchs, you can set a dragon, and then when your opponent sets back row, you can Escalation summon Tiger Dragon and destroy it. Uh, we also have White Knight Dragon. Okay, yeah, okay, White Knight Dragon is awesome. Especially in the current meta of Treacherous Trap Hole. During other player's turn, when the spell trap card that targets this card is activated, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. And also, it can overcome a whiz naturally. It's 3,000 versus 2,800 defense. And when another face of monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can send one spell trap card you control to the graveyard. Change the attack target to this card. So that's either Escalation of the Monarchs or... Swamp Mirror, another underappreciated guy. Uh, Swamp Mirror, why is he in here? Because you can summon him as a dragon. You don't even have to scroll through the thing. It's right on top. You just click light and then you click dragon. Unless you have some reason to not click light. Like if, you're, if your opponent has Legendary Ocean, you can get plus 200. But uh, you, can, you can send, because both of them are traps. An activated Escalation of the Monarch is a face of trap. Swamp Mirror is also still a trap. For the rest of our deck, we have we have uh, these four monsters, the Totem Dragons and the twid Handed Behemoths. These are, well, they're not immortal, but they're dragons that return from the graveyard. If Totem Dragon or twid Handed Behemoth get destroyed, they can come right back and be tributed for Tiger Dragon. Uh, and... Totem Dragon is two tributes, so you can you can get a White Knight off with him, and Dragon Ice, Dragon Ice along with Tiger Dragon, very underappreciated. When your opponent special summons a monster, you can discard a card. Special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. There can only be one Dragon Ice on the field, and you can discard him, and then summon him from the graveyard, and then you can also re-summon him back from the graveyard by discarding a different card. Possibly a Kid Moto Dragon. Anyway, Kid Moto Dragon and the Dragonite Synergy. And then, yeah, of course, Kid Moto Dragon. We have uh, when this card is sent to the graveyard. You can special summon Dragon type monster, but you give up your battle phase. So you want Kid Moto Dragon to be either discarded or whatever on your opponent's turn. And then, what we actually, you know, what, what would be the what would be the bread and butter, the ideal combo, is Kid Moto with. Escalation of the Monarch set, and then your opponent sets back row. You Escalation summon Tiger Dragon, uh, tribute Kidmoto, and then tri Kidmoto lets you special summon the White Knight Dragon all in your opponent's turn, and you can go in for the beatdown. Now, we're going to do our replays, and they are all furries because that's all that's in Legend rank right now. Alright, we're going second against, well, not the mirror match, but our mirror image, another set of Kaiba. We have Behemoth. Two Tribute Dragon, Tiger Dragon, and the Wall of the Daddy. Our standard back row, Wall of the Daddy, and a Canadia. And we have Furries with a Set and a Dinah. We're gonna... I don't know what possessed me to make this move, but we do bait out a Super Rush, and that's super great because uh, Twin-Headed Behemoth comes back, and the opponent is down a back row. Probably he suspected our own Super Rush. Uh, and just acted by reflex. Okay, so we have Dompa and then Beat searches Wiz, tributes the two monsters for uh, the Wiz. I believe he neglects to activate Beatdown. Uh, we set and then we set uh, double tribute. We have Wall Daddy and we have Paleozoic Canadia. Uh, normal summons the seal. 
we're gonna go Dinah Hero. Well, he's gonna go with Dinah Hero for hire. And we have to play a little trick on the Wiz. So we're gonna force her with Hazo at Canadia. Once she negates that, we get to hit him with the Wall of the Daddy. And look at that! Totem Dragon survives. We don't have to use his effect. But we are gonna tribute him for the Tiger Dragon. And we're gonna pop that Treacherous, which is terrible. But we do get our Canadia out of it, and he has to destroy his own seal. And then we're gonna hit the Dinah in the mouth. And then now we're stuck with a Canadia and a Wiz, but we have a Totem Dragon, fortunately. Mayhem for hire. Dinah is re is revived. Scout a uh, recon pops the wall of the daddy, and Dinah banishes a bunch of dragons, destroys our totem dragon, and this is the this is the value of the totem dragon, is that it comes back. Wait, no, no, no. Well, it comes back if you have no monsters. So, what we had was Paleozoic Canadia, and we tributed that for Tiger Dragon, which is fine because the opponent doesn't have any back row. Anyway, now it's our turn, and we're just gonna destroy another monster. Our turn again. So we're just we're we're just uh, in drawing battle. We have Escalation and we have Swamp Mirror, uh, Dompa. And here, okay, so here's the clever bit. As soon as we see the Dompa, we activate Swamp Thing and Escalation. And why do we do that? Because Dompa is going to target our Tiger Dragon for removal. And then we can tribute that Doom Tiger Dragon with the Escalation of the Monarchs, and we can activate that Beto down. Going for game, saved by the Chalice. And then now we're in another frustrating draw off battle. We activate Swamp Mirror, Wiz negates. That's actually good. We're removing resources. Let's get rid of that beat. And now, opponent has a dead field. Because he's just stuck with that Wiz. And here's the beat down. And the Kid Moto for the precise lethal. Yes! Are right, we going second in the mirror? Well, again, not the mirror. It's dragons versus furries. So, it's the mirror image. So, we have Recon, Dompa, we open Tiger... Oh, Recon, Dompa, and the Wiz. That's horrible. Uh, we're gonna set a Kidmodo. And then, so we have our we have our ideal combo, but there's Wiz. <laughs> I try to bait out the Wiz with the... with the Swamp Mirror. He does not take the bait, because he's not threatened by it. If you wonder what his back row is. But he does negate the Escalation of the Monarchs. So no, no tributing of the, um, no tributing for the Tiger Dragon. We're going to Kidmodo into a White Knight Dragon. So if you special summon Tiger Dragon off of Kidmodo Dragon, that does not count. You don't get the destroy. And this way, White Knight is protected against the Treacherous Trap Hole. Okay, so we're going to Tribute the Dragon-type Swamp Mirror for the Tiger Dragon. Pop that back row. What is it? It was a Mayhem. And now, with both dragons, we're big enough to pop the Wiz with the Tiger Dragon. And then the next most dangerous is Dompa. Now the thing is, you want to keep hitting the Wiz. And it may seem counterintuitive, but the thing is, if, if he's able to get out Dinah, uh, Dinah can overcome the with Dinah and Wiz on the field, the opponent can boost Dinah up over White Knight Dragon. And White Knight Dragon is our main wall. So we're going to go beat down onto the Dompa. Scoopage. Alright, we're going first against Yami Yugi. Ooh, we have White Knight, Canadia, Kidmoto, and Tiger Dragon. Patronade, away the Canadia. Recon. Specials Wiz, Wiz gains life points, and then Recon destroys my Kidmodo, which I'm actually happy about, because that gets rid of, that gets rid of, um, that gives us White Knight for free, and we destroy the Wiz, Wiz is revived, Recon's and activate, effect activates, uh, destroys the Canadia, and instead of going for the life points, we're going to get that Wiz off the field, because we do want to use our back row. If it is available, another special summon, and here we um, we get the special summon, that Dragon Ice, another free uh, high-level monster, 
and uh, small misplay. You can discard Dragon Ice and then special summon him. You'll need to discard a, a, diff a different card. Dragon Ice is dope. All right, anyway, so we get to normal summon our Behemoth, and our Behemoth is big enough to do do a little bit of damage. Get Yami Yugi down to half life. Our perennial foe activates Draw Sense Earth, which is smart because that gives him beat. Does that, could it also give him Dinah? I think so. Yeah, Dinah is also an Earth type. Okay, so that's kind of a gamble with the fur higher decks. Uh, so Dinah banishes. That's fine. Destroys Dragon Ice, but I think I think we know where this goes. Okay, so another beat down, and then and then. Um, then do I realize that I'm, I'm about to give up game. I'm about to give up game uh, by not tributing for the Tiger Dragon, but we have just enough attack points for that precise lethal. Are we going second against Dr. Balian Crowler? Our final replay. And is this Hazy's? Is this Ancient Your Golem Cheese? Nope, furries. It's like, that's, that's the story of legend, furries, furries. Okay, so we have a set and we have uh, Recon Dyna. And we set all of our things. We set our swamp thing, we set our, our kid thing, and we set our wall of the daddy, our daddy thing. Uh, Recon pops the swamp mirror, which is actually fine. By the way, if, if you flip up the card and after Recon targets it, it still gets to destroy. And then a uh, wall of the daddy returns, or wall of the face returns wall of the daddy back to our hand. And then we're gonna have a beatdown. We're gonna Kid Moto and then special summons the Tiger Dragon and then see it does not count. It does not destroy the back row. Off of that, uh, we're gonna go Wall the Daddy. Another treacherous trap hole. And just and uh, beat down onto the Dyna, but another treacherous trap hole. Another beatdown into a wall of the daddy. Finally. Alright, it's our turn. Totem Dragon comes back. Tribute for the Tiger Dragon. Would have preferred White Knight. But this is also good. Destroys Dinah's face. And then we're gonna have. Alright, and then this is another good one. Uh, we can't stop both. We can't Canadia both. But as soon as Recon activates its effect, we're gonna prevent Dom Pa from destroying our big bad cat with Paleozoic Canadia by flipping him face down. Yes, and that is game. So, that is Tiger Dragon reclaiming his territory, urinating all over it to make sure it stays that way. Thank you for watching.